Hey there YouTube. Today's video is just going to be a few quick tech tips on doing wheel seals and bearings. Now before we get started I just wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that commented, uh, liked my videos, subscribed to the channel. Thank you I really appreciate the support. It really helps uh, keep me motivated to keep making more videos for you guys. I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys real quick and then let's get to it. Now the first part of this is, has to do with removing the seal without having the proper seal removing tool. Now what you're going to need is one of your axle nuts. You have to make sure it doesn't fit through your inside bearing, but it will fit through the race on the other side. Then what you need to do is slide your hub back on, take your nut, Thread it back on. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have full thread engagement. You want at least a couple threads showing on the back side of the nut. It is possible to pull the threads out on either your spindle or your nut if you don't have enough thread engagement. Then you're going to hold this straight. Just use it like a slide hammer. Just like that. Now the next tech tip here has to do with races. This is a trick that I had heard for a long time before I'd actually ever tried it. And it actually works. Works especially well on an aluminum hub. Basically what we're going to do is weld the bead around the inside of the race and what that's going to do is it's going to shrink the race it's also going to heat up the hub This is what your races look like afterwards. It doesn't need to be pretty welds. Just lay a nice bead around them. Quickly on cleaning this up and having your new races ready to go. Because if you can put them in while the hub's still warm, it helps you out some. Lay a flat piece of mild steel over the top. Use that to get started. Take your old race, to drive the new one in. You hear a distinct change in sound when this bottoms out. Flip it over, set your large bearing inside. Take your new seal. Take your old seal, set it on top.
seals installed. You can see the surfaces where the bearings are made doesn't look perfect on these. They're not bad, but they're not perfect. So we're gonna use an old farmer's trick to ensure that we get a tight fit between the inner race of the bearing and the spindle here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take a punch and a hammer put some punch marks where the bearings ride. Basically what that does is it raises up a little bit of metal right around the punch mark and ensures that we're gonna get a tight fit of the inside of the bearing to the spindle. Make sure that the inside of that bearing doesn't spin on here. Then it's just sticking it all back together. Think torque specs 250 foot pounds while spinning the hub, and that makes sure that you're seated properly. Then you're going to back this off. How I do it is I go back off until the nut's loose. You're right there, you just felt the nut go loose. And then I tighten it back up. About yay much, it's kind of by feel. Spin the hub, make sure that it spins freely. put our oil cap back on and fill it up with oil. Now you're going to want to top this off a few times over the next few hours. It takes a little bit of the time for the gear oil to work its way in through the bearings and fill the center of the hub up. So you fill it up and then you notice after several minutes it'll go down and then you fill it back up again. You just kind of repeat that process, keep an eye on the oil level and uh, this hub should be ready to return to service. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hope this video helped you out. Thank you. Have a good day.